today i'm going to light you and i'm going to light you in a way where it's going to be challenging for you to find out which of them are lies and which of them are not lies so the astute ones amongst you will begin to understand what exactly when i say when i'm saying i'm going to lie let's begin when i was in 7th standard they told me that light is a ray it travels in beautiful straight lines bounces off surfaces following a very beautiful geometric law angle of incidence equals angle of reflection and it bounces off comes here comes there and beautifully goes this way life is very beautiful until i went to 11th standard and all of a sudden which you will go there very soon suddenly they told me light is a wave it behaves as if you throw a rock into water there are ripples and light is very similar to that and i said okay fine i can live with that and then i went to 12th standard they told me light is a stream of particles it's like you have a machine gun you have a torch light you open it it's like you have a machine gun and start shooting out little bullets of light and those little bullets they called photons and i said okay now i'm beginning to get confused to top it all by the end of 12th they told me now we'll tell you what light is light is both wave and particle or they say neither wave nor particle which of it is it they also said that you know you can it depends upon what experiment you perform you know sometimes light will behave like a wave sometimes like a particle and by now if you're not confused then you're not really listening because i was very confused and then i began to ask the question what really is light in order to answer this we have to go into the deepest parts of what science really is and is science trying to say something about reality are we trying to find out what light is nobody can say the best analogy to take would be to ask you this question have you seen a political map of india you'll see that it has states it has capitals very simple clean have you seen the physical map of india you know it'll have mountains and little rivers and all that then you have a road map right which tells you you know you take these roads you can go somewhere now which of them is india is that a bad question or is it a difficult question to answer because which of them is india is all of, are all of them india or is none of them india because if you try to build a map that has everything that has india in it that india has you'll have to build another india so it's not the point at all you want to build something that is not really the question where it's right or wrong but we're trying to build something that is useful because what's the point of a road map to tell you where to go so if you have to find out where to go which map will you go to the road map if you want to know how the cities are divided and how the capitals are you'll go to the political map if you want to find out where the rivers are where the mountains are you want to predict weather you'll go to the physical map why am i saying this it's because the real question is we don't know what it really is nobody knows nobody knows what right light really is but we are building a map of what light could be and if we imagine light to be that way then we can make predictions in a better manner that's what science tries to do if i imagine light to be a ray will it be useful if i imagine light to be a wave will it be useful so the question is light a ray or is light a wave is really a pretty bad one because we don't know so when is light as a ray useful if you want to build and find images you want to build a telescope you want to build a microscope imagining light to be a ray works really well if you want to find out you know and answer questions about why light sometimes interferes there's something called interference that happens in light something called diffraction which you will learn later and if you want to understand why those happen it's better to imagine light as a wave if you want to understand certain other phenomena like photoelectric effect you think of light as a particle a stream of particles called photons and it's pretty surprising that we don't really know what light is but depending on what situation it is we imagine light to be one particular thing now this is what science tries to do it tries to build a map of reality and maps are never really a description completely of reality but as long as they are close enough they can start predicting what happens because rutherford's model of the atom was wrong it was wrong we all know that but using rutherford's model we built plastic chairs and the moment we realize rutherford's model is wrong do the plastic chairs vanish they don't they still here which means even a wrong model can predict good things and you can make things out of it in other words the real question to ask is is the model useful so we'll finish this off by making one statement the map is not the territory you have a map of something let's find out how useful it is so in this particular episode we will treat light in the most simplest form it can be treated as a ray so we'll imagine light to be a ray that goes from one place to another gets bounced off you know the most beautiful way of looking thinking about it the most simplest way the simplest way rather so let's make some predictions looking at light as a ray and see how we can play with it and let's really see what begins to happen so how do we see we see something around us that's how we live we watch everything around us how exactly do we see a long long ago there was an old man you know who predicted theoretically that light leaves from our eyes goes in all possible directions and when it hits something light comes back to our eyes and then when we when the light comes back to us we see isn't there a problem here because somebody switches off the lights we're not able to see if light goes out from our eyes then we must be able to see whether there is outside light or not 
So he wasn't the brightest candle on the cake. But now we know that there must be some way in which we are seeing because we always need something called the source. Otherwise, we can't just see things. So we need a source. We have a receptor called our eye. The light starts from the source, hits something and comes back into our eye and that's how we see. So all seeing happens using reflection and we already know this. And typically it's going to be irregular reflection because some objects reflect regularly. We know this. And some objects reflect irregularly. All the objects we see around us except heavily polished surfaces are going to reflect irregularly.